Quite often I will review watches and then I'll read your comments in the comments section afterwards and you guys will be guiding me towards very similar but alternative watches from different brands and that's happened quite a bit recently because I've been reviewing some more affordable field watches and in the comments section on more than one occasion you guys have said you should try Redwood watches. So I reached out to the Redwood brothers and said don't suppose you fancy sending me one of your more affordable field watches and they've done exactly that and in today's video i'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the field version 3. so redwood watches is a canadian micro brand and when compared to many other micro brands that are around at the moment it's a well-established brand started in 2014 it's a family-run business owned by a couple of brothers and they have a passion not just for watches, but for the outdoors and for military engineering. So yeah, a number of years ago, I guess they thought, let's make some watches. Now they don't have an abundance of watches on their website. I think they have three models, but they've made a few versions of some of those watches. Um, I think the Tactical Diver, they're on version two. This is um, their version three of this particular watch. And I think it's their most affordable watch, which is one of the reasons I was keen to get it in and um, yeah, it's a field watch as well. And like I said in the intro, I have been reviewing some affordable field watches um, recently. So yeah, I was keen to have a look at it. Now the packaging was very much in keeping with their passion for the outdoors, a canvas pouch space for six watches. They also sell some alternative straps. And yeah, 142 British pounds for this watch. It contains the VS17, an Epson solar powered quartz movement. And I'm really pleased to say the second hand is hitting the markers. That is clearly something they stipulated in the manufacturing process. Obviously, I've only seen one of these watches, but when it's hitting the markers like it is, it's clear that that was something they were very conscious of. And I don't mind a quartz movement. I know many of you supporting my channel and watching my videos, um, you are really only interested in automatic movements, um, but there is a place, I think, in every collection for a quartz watch. And solar powered quartz watches are really useful as well because we don't have a battery that's going to run out. They tend to last for a very long time. Occasionally, you will need to get the storage battery replaced. But um, yeah, that is very occasionally. And um, yeah, it's a good looking watch, isn't it? It reminds me a little bit of the Alkin Diver that I reviewed recently. A compressor style diver. Very, very simple, isn't it? Super legible. I mean, that's what you want for a field watch. You want it to be... Fairly cheap, affordable, reliable, accurate, legible. Doesn't need to be fancy and have lots of chamfered edges that are beautifully polished. It just needs to be functional, practical, legible, all those things. And um, yeah, that's exactly what this thing is. Sapphire Crystal, um, which is great. I was a little bit concerned when I first saw the price that it wouldn't include Sapphire Crystal. But yes, Sapphire Crystal, stainless steel, 100 meters of water resistance. Um, the specifications are good. Decent enough strap as well. Double pass nylon strap and the hardware finishing matches the finishing on the case, which I'm a bit of a stickler for. So, yeah, I'm pleased about that. And um, the buckle is signed. Look, and they're currently selling these straps for about £10, I think, um, which is pretty decent. I think they're normally £21. Um, let's have a look at the case back. There it is. We've got some specifications there. Look, and the manufacturing date, 2022, Redwood Watch Company, Montreal, Canada. And these watches are designed and assembled in Canada. Right, let's check out the loom. I will film a five-minute loom degradation clip and run that at the end of the video so we can see how well the loom lasts. Um, it's printed onto the dial. I suspect the loom on the hands would be pretty good and it's, well, long, isn't it? Look how long those hands are and plenty of length to them. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit concerned that the loom printed onto the dial isn't going to last as well as the hands because, well, it just never does, does it? There it is then on my roughly average sized wrist. Nice and light. There's no automatic movement inside this case, obviously. And so, yeah, weight distribution is fine. Obviously, there's not a lot of weight under the wrist because there's no stainless steel buckle. It's a double pass nylon strap, but there's not too much weight in the case either. I'll put the weight and the dimensions in the bottom right hand corner. Um, yeah, it doesn't sit too high off my wrist as well, does it? The strap isn't too thick. And although it's a double pass 
nylon strap. Yeah, it's not lifting the watch off my wrist too much. Um, a very simple, very minimalist, very functional looking field watch, isn't it? And the fact that it's a solar powered quartz movement means it's going to be very, very low maintenance. Probably one of the lowest maintenance, simplest, most legible watches anybody could hope to own. Now, unfortunately, I never saw the version one or the version two, so I'm not going to be able to tell you the differences between this version three and the previous models. But what I can tell you is there's currently four color versions available. They're all £142, apart from the black coated version, which is £150, which is pretty decent. Free international shipping and a two year warranty as well. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. Thank you so much for bringing this brand and this watch to my attention. Now, it doesn't look like they released too many new designs um, very often but I shall certainly be keeping an eye on this brand and potentially going back to them to see if they're interested in me reviewing their tactical version 2 because that looks pretty cool. Right guys as always let me know what you think of this watch and the video in the comments section and please if you've got any other suggestions any other brands that I should be taking a look at let me know and click that like button and subscribe. Come on, guys, let's get this channel to 35,000 subscribers and then I can give away those two Helm watches. Right, that's enough. I'm going to let you go now.